So today I'm going to talk about automation of statistic summary and analysis using R Shiny. So what's the motivation for this? Basic statistics analysis, such as summary statistics, regression analysis, and testing of associations are very common in medical research. The researchers need to repeatedly generate summary tables and conduct explanatory analysis before they can have a finalized analysis. Many of our collaborators eager to want to make sense of their data, but some of them all have less or no experience of our statistical programming experience, which make them very difficult to conduct statistical analysis. Repeated work can be tedious and inconsistent and time consuming. As more and more journals require reproducibilities, it requires tremendous effort of logging and documenting, which can affect the effectiveness of the research. So what's the hurdles research normally come across? First, probably is to find the right packages, um, which can be very challenging. At the same time, the syntax differences across packages can be also um, intimidating. For example, one statistics summary tables, there's part, multiple packages can do it. Table number one, table one, or GT summary. However, all three of them have different formats. It's, it's really, really confusion. Um, at the same time, typo and variable names can cause confusion too, especially those former SAS users will know that um, variable name in SAS is insensitive. However, R is very case sensitive regarding variable name. Even though that you managed to get the analysis result to find the right file formats to download it to further modification, it's also become a hurdle. So what's the solutions based on all the experience we had and the hurdles we come across? So one of the idea is to incorporate many commonly used packages into one. So that that syntax consistent across analysis can reduced and to be consistent. And to remove the need to type the data to avoid those typo and case sensitivity. And because we want to also the version control issues like our package change over time to be resolved. Lastly, we want to provide output in variety of file formats for the convenience of further modifications or editing. So that we created one shiny app to make take advantage of the intuitive interactive features of Shiny. So as you can see here, it's the snapshot of the Shiny app um, working one. Left side head uh, is the UI, which um, provides the file uploading, variable true chosen interface, and analysis options. The right hand side, we provide the output based on the UI entries. Next, I want to highlight some feature of the Shiny app, just because we are targeted to solve the concern on the issues researchers hurdles. Um, so we want to have a click and a choose UI, no typing is needed. And I, secondly, we want to support commonly used R packages in this app. In the meantime, we'll also provide buttons for um, download the 
analysis results in different file formats, such as Excel and other formats. The interactive explanatory analysis within the app provides a convenient way for the researchers so that they don't need to like back and forth, back and forth, and save the effort of doing this kind of a work. Because in the Shiny app, the package was locked in, so which makes the reproducible possible to uh, um, uh, because because of the locking issues, locking package versions. Next, I would like to do a quick demo about how to use this app. As you can see, there are some introduction videos included for this researchers who have no experience before to how to use it. And I'll go ahead to do the demo. I'll choose one of the demo files, which was um, HIPAA compliance is a mocking table. Do you want to make sure it is? And categorical, I would say I want to generate for maturity insurance information. Continuous variable, I want to last for stay, follow up days. Um, please notice the sequence I click. The group variable, I want to use treatment. So let's do the histogram to do the exploratory analysis. Look at the distribution of the two variables. And if you click on to compare the result, you see all the updates, difference by treatment groups here. Clearly here, um, this is not a file sh shape. And normal distribution doesn't apply. So based on this, we can adjustify this now normal for say follow-up days, obviously, right? So um, we click on the table with p-values to, to see um, how the result goes. So you can tell that uh, the characteristics was followed by the sequence of the click. And the follow-up was calculated using non normal distributions with a node there and a median in interquantile. A four length of stay, we're assuming it's normal, so it's a mean standardized was generated. Um, so you can click the Excel and to download it, so you can do further modifications. So that's it for table one. Um, if you want to do uh, analysis, what you can do is, for example, let's do remove one of this, and I'm interested in the regressions, and I'll click this out. I want to do expert as the outcome and the two. So because of the binary, I was hoping it was largest regression would be generated. Let's see what's the result look like. So here, you can see that um, largest regression with expired outcome has been generated. As usual, the sequence will follow the order of your click. Univariable analysis and multivariable analysis um, as a ratio was created here. Um, the same for the plots. Forest plots with the multivariate analysis result was generated here. Um, just as the table, you can also download this um, an analysis result, like CSV files, it will be generated over there. So basically, that's what can be done using the Shiny app. Um, so let's go back to see um, that. What we want to present here is to let you know that the Shiny app can incorporate many variables, uh, many available packages into one, which was very useful. So um, there's uh, some improvements later on for our next versions. We're still working on that. I want to thank you for uh, coming to my presentations. I want to thank all our studios, the package developer, and startup fund from CHOP and UPEN and partially supported by NIH funding. We appreciate your comments and feedback. Thank you again.